Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up semantic search. So semantic search is a way to search for information that is based on the meaning of the words, not just the exact words themselves. And we do that using embeddings, which are a way to represent words in a way that a program can understand and they're represented as vectors. So vectors are a three-dimensional array of numbers that represent the semantic meaning of these words. And they're represented as vectors, and so that means they're like some vectors may be pointing that way, that way. If, you, if you're like thinking of a three-dimensional graph, you know, some might be pointing down, up, left, right, all different directions. So then we have all of these vectors and all these words, and we can use a formula called cosine similarity to find words or vectors that are similar with each other. So to do that, we'll be using the OpenAI API to embed our words. And then we will use Elasticsearch in part two of the video to make this search a lot faster because the problems I found um, doing it just using Python, it was really slow if you're using a large data set. So I use, if you're trying to use this in like production or like a real world app, you'd probably want to use a search engine, search engine like Elasticsearch or any other database that allows you to do like vector-based searching. So let's get into it. So we'll start it off by setting up our environment. So first we'll create a virtual environment to install our packages with Python. Oops. Oh, Python wrong. So then we will source it and then we will install these packages. So I will also give you a uh, link in the bio to an article that you can follow along with and the code and the data that we also use. So we install pandas, numpy, OpenAI, and Elasticsearch. So then let's open up our search.py file and then we are going to import our packages and our client and paste it in here. So we import pandas, numpy, OpenAI, and then our client, OpenAI. So the first thing we do is just read the CSV, and then we have a function to get the embeddings. So this is, uses the text embedding three small model. And then I just added a print embeddings to make sure it was working, getting some feedback. So after we have that, we are just going to simply embed our data. So to do that, well, I'll explain it. So we have our data frame of our, of our articles. We're just using a bunch of articles with titles. So then we are going to apply the get embeddings function we have right here to the title uh, column in our CSV. So we're going to apply that to every single row, and then we are going to store it in a new column called embedding. And then after all of that gets done, we are going to write this to a CSV, and that'll be called word embedding. So, oh yeah, also note that for this client to work, you'll have to store your open AI API key in the environment variables. And so let's just run this. And then it will take a while because there's a, oops, Python 3 and then search.py. It will take a while because it's going to have to make a request for every single field in our CSV. So we'll do this. Just press run. And then it looks like embeddings is received. So it's working and I'll be back in a second when this is finished. Okay, so it looks like it has finished up. So let's, let's, I'll show you what the data looks like. So it just, code, word embeddings. 
So it just writes the CSV. And it's loading up. So it's just, uh, you know, here's the title of all the articles. And then here's the description. And then these labels and then here's the embedding that you get back so this is the vector and there's like 1500 numbers inside this list and it just represents a you know a three-dimensional vector in space so that's really what ChatGPT does it converts a sentence the title into this this uh, this embedding so let's get to it. Let's let's see what we can do with it. So now that we have that, we are going to get our search term. So we're going to paste in the rest of this. And then I'm going to comment this out because we don't want to run it again. So here we have our search term stock market crash. And then we want to embed the search term as well to get back a vector. So then we are going to read our word embeddings that we just that we just uh, stored as a CSV. And then we need to apply this this uh, this pandas function to just it, it just like filters the data a little bit or like converts it to the right format for it to be able to be used uh, again. This is just in the the OpenAI docs. So then we have our cosine similarity function, which actually compares the two vectors to see if they are similar. Uh, it's just a linear algebra uh, function, and you can look it up online to see what it actually does. But you don't really need to know what it means or the how to do it by hand. So we are going to then use this cosine similarity and apply it between our search term which is stock market crash and then all of the embeddings in the csv so it just calls this function between those two things and then stores it in similarities and then so it's in our data frame this df variable and then we're just going to sort it and then uh get the the 20 most similar search terms and then we write it to the similarities.csv. So let's run this again. And so then it, it does the embedding for the search term, gets it back, and it takes about five seconds. So now let's open up our CSV to see what we got back. So here you go. So it looks market surge on oil drop election, and then it gets soaring crude oil prices, send stocks lower, stocks sag, stocks feel impact, concerning over drug stocks, US economy in peril as debt comes due. How great is the news? Such a, <laughs> it's so uplifting. But anyways, uh, so, this is just what we get back and then it has the embedding and then it shows the, the similarities. Um, so it's like, it's on a scale of zero to one, one being the most similar, zero being the least. And then, so the, the most similar is 0 0.46 and then the least is 0 0.36. So now that we have this done, uh, the problems I ran into is on a larger data set that it would take a while um to search through this whole thing just using python so now we're going to implement uh elastic search to as our search engine so that when our users want to make a search it will happen almost instantly as opposed to you know taking like 30 seconds or so okay so now we are going to set this up with elastic search so we're going to create an elastic search docker container then we're going to connect to it then we are going to create the index for in the elastic search and then we are going to populate it with our data and then make a search with it so the first thing we need to do is set up docker so i've got some docker commands that we need to run uh, first, you create a network called Elastic. 
I've already done that though. Um, then you need to pull the Docker container. Uh, it's on the, you need to use the 8.12 one because that's what uses, or that version allows you to um, use the embeddings from ChatGPT. But I've already done this one as well. Um, so then you just run your Docker container with this command and it should set up. And then after this sets up, then you'll be able to grab the password and you'll be able to grab like the cert to be able to connect to it. So we'll wait for that to set up. And then we'll start working on the Python code to connect to it. So let's go in our elastic.py and then we'll need to import some things to connect to the client. Whoa. So we just need to import search from the other file and then pandas, numpy, and elasticsearch. Okay, so now elasticsearch is done. So we just need to copy some of these things. So first the password. And then store this as password. And then SSL cert will be the fingerprint. We'll use the fingerprint just because it's easier. You can also use the cert files, but just copy this. And then paste it. Okay. So now we just need to create our Elasticsearch client. So we'll copy this. Okay. And then we'll just try to connect to our client with es.ping. It should return true if this works. So we'll run this. So it's doing embedding received for some reason. Okay, but it pinged it. Um, cool. So now we just need to create our indices. The indices are just how the data will be structured in our Elasticsearch client. So I've already got it worked out. So I will just copy it and paste it into here. So we can just delete this ping. But yeah, this is what the index mapping looks like. It's just a dictionary full of your properties. So your properties are, you know, just the, the columns in your database. So you got your ID, your title, description, label, and this is just what represents the CSV. And then you have this special field called embedding and here it has a type of dense vector, and then it has how many dimensions are in it is 1536. It needs to be 1536 because that's how many dimensions are the, how many numbers are in the embeddings we get back in the vector from ChatGPT. And then we also uh, give it the sim similarity field with L2 norm, and that's how we, that's how we, um, you know, make the cosine similarity searches. So then after that, we just pass this in to the Elasticsearch client, ES, and then we do indices.create, and then we name the index article, and then the mappings, we just pass it this variable we just created. So after that, we're also going to want to do uh, we're going to want to print the response to make sure it's, it's working. So let's do that. Run it and it should work. Okay. Okay. So we got acknowledged true. That looks great. So now we need to get into actually, 
sending the data to our Elasticsearch instance. So we've got the code prepared. So now what we need to do is paste this in here. So now we're just reading from the CSV, the embeddings that we just got. And then if you look in the, the docs, you just need to run this uh, equation or we just need to run this function on the embeddings field it's just like this numpy thing that I, i'm not exactly sure what it does but you need to run it or else it won't be able to send your uh, data to elasticsearch so after that we need to do some more stuff to the data so yeah then the records list df to dict just converts the our csv fields into dictionaries to be able to send it to elasticsearch and then after all that all you have to do is just send them up to elasticsearch so we'll just call the client so then for records in records list we just have a count and then we index the articles index, send it the document, and then we send it the count, and then we'll print the exception. So now we'll run this. Well, let's comment some things out first. So let's we don't want to create the index again, so we'll just comment that out. And then it should be good. So it looks like that worked. There's no errors. So now we will just want to actually create our query. So we have our search term sports, and then we have our search term vector, uh, get embedding, and then we have our query, which is a variable, and we pass it the field that we want to be querying, which is embeddings, and then we give it the query vector, which is the search term vector, and then here are variables you can mess with to how accurate you want the search and like how many parallel candidates you want it to search through. You can mess with these, but like pretty much the, the higher the number, the longer the search will take and the lower the number. I haven't found it to make much of a difference. So after that, we will just need to uh, pass it into this elasticsearch.knn search and you give it the index, uh, then the KNN is the query, and then the source, we give it the title. So after that, we'll get a response, and then we'll just print it out with this pretty print. Uh, first, we'll, we'll want to um, comment this stuff out because we don't want to send up all the data again. Okay, so now let's call the function. Okay, now we get it back. So this is actually the results we get. So here is the top 20 more accurate articles uh, with the title of sports. So obviously the first one is sports buzz. That's very similar to sports. Um, and it's sports, athletics, defeat the Rangers. Um, so it looks like it's working great. Okay, so this is how you set up Elasticsearch to use uh, cosine similarity search with embeddings. Uh, I hope this video helped you out um, and make sure to check out the links in the bio for the full code. All right, thank you.